Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I will be reacting to my first ever YouTube video, and I'm really super excited to do this. I have had someone request me to do it, so I thought it'd be super fun to do it and get a couple of laughs and all that fun jazz. So if you're excited to kind of see like how I react or what it looks like because I have hidden it so no one can see it, then go ahead and keep watching. But before we get into the video, just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload and become part of the hive. We have so much fun on this channel and you don't want to miss out. Without further ado, let's get in the video. All right, so obviously you can tell that we are in my like chit chat, chill out, not too fancy pants zone. I got no makeup on, my hair's like kind of whatever, but this is like the, I guess most chill vibe um, when I do these kind of talk, have fun videos and stuff like that. So I hope you guys like it. I think this is the second video I've done in this way and maybe the third, but just let me know below like how you feel about it. Like me wearing no makeup, I know I look like I'm like did, but no makeup, kind of just chit-chatting, talking about beauty and all that fun stuff and doing super fun things. So another thing I would like to mention is I did not do a video on Friday and I really want to apologize to you guys, but I got some really, really um, life altering news on Friday. Um, I'm not going to share that right now. I will share it later on, but it just kind of like my whole day was like, ah. so I really just did not get a video up and I really do want to apologize for that. But here I am back at it. We're going to do this All right, and we're going to actually get into this video. So I have my phone here, which I'm going to be playing my first ever YouTube video. So the first ever video I have posted was actually three years ago. I started YouTube officially in December of 2018, but I had started prior to that in 2015. And it was like, um, I want to say, oh, here it is. October published on October 21st of 2015. So basically, <laughs> I didn't really have anything. I didn't really have any makeup. I didn't really have any lights, any anything. I used my phone. Like It was just crazy and I just didn't even plan it. And I feel like had I just kept going with it instead of stopping for three years and restarting, I really would be further along. But I was, like I said in um, a video before, I was kind of scared that I didn't have like what all these like really famous, super awesome, youtubers had um but you kind of grow from those things and you learn and like here i am on camera um for tons of people to see me with new makeup and whatever but like three years ago when i started my youtube oh my god i would have been like oh, i have to have like all my makeup like everybody else and be like i don't know fake i guess but um so these videos are not the best, so I did go back through when I started in December of 2018 and I hid them so no one could see them, but we're gonna check it out. So it is the October BoxyCharm unboxing in 2015. This is when I first started BoxyCharm. All right, let's take a look here. First of all, I started it with a PowerPoint. <laughs> hey guys, all right, so we're here for October. We're gonna stop. <laughs> We're gonna so if you could see the video down here in the corner, um, I recorded from my phone. Uh, that was what I started with. I actually in December started with my phone as well, but obviously phones have gotten much better throughout the years. Um, but I started and I was recording up and down like this and with the front facing camera. So everything was backwards. <laughs> and it was like you can see it's like up and down it's not full screen at all so this is gonna be a super fun time October's BoxyCharm unboxing this is my first unboxing of BoxyCharm I've never um gotten them <laughs> it is $21 a month and you get four to five full-size products oh man look at that makeup um, mm. and I think it is yeah, it's and every I never month did my um, eyebrows. Different themes. They all come in this box, which is really cute. Um, it's not I love like, how I'm like, it's, it's really cute. It's like a black MC box. And box, but it's a little bit more, but like I said, you get, it's almost all full size products. So I didn't really do editing back then either. And I would just like drop like text across screen. I still do that now sometimes, but like there's definitely editing. Like if I jack up my words that bad where I'm like, it's not like, but it is like, 
but is not. I'm going to cut that. Like, you're never going to see that. So, if you are interested, just keep watching for the unboxing. And, like, if you could okay, tell, like, so see, I, I just would hit play, box, box, stop, box, stop play, stop. So, when we open it, we have <laughs> the card on top with the theme. So, October's theme is Faces of the Moon. Do you love, moon. like, all the, like the bracelets phases, I like wore the phases over of the top moon, of my a shirt? A part of us is always hidden. This month, embrace Still didn't you. do my nails. Embrace who you Still are. that person. And let the enchanting Look beauty at the hair I had. of all of your faces show. Remember, you can always be whoever you choose to be. The stars will align in your favor. Let your light illuminate the darkness. Still drummers. don't read very well. So, not, Science, this card, not publicly you know, at least. Down here, it always tells you like how you can either win like a box or I win hate my makeup. points, which can get you free I literally stuff took like sight. a dark color um, and would just and go like back, this. It gives you the So, it, I'm going to pause it. So, it will be <laughs> I would take like just a light color and then I would go in with a darker one like black or gray or brown and just you would have that line because I thought that was a cut crease so we're clear oh and the item in the description and by the way that's not my voice like when I listen to this I actually listened to this I want to say like two weeks ago I could hear the fakeness in my voice. Like, I felt like I had to be like, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And like, now I'm just like, you know what? I'm not going to be that way. If people like my channel, then they like my channel. If they don't, then they don't. But me faking my voice, like, what are you going to do when you hear me like live or on Snapchat or something? They're going to be like, oh, okay, bitch. You don't even sound like that. So the more you know, the more you grow. Open this box already. I have it. So, I love how I'm like, I haven't seen it, and then I'm like, I have it. I've actually used three of the items. Um, the first one that I did use, I used it last night. I still was love the poop earrings, Palmetto but Derma those are pretty good. Antioxidant mask. This values for $64 for just this face mask. It is a clay face mask. Um, you put it on, I let it sit there for about 15, 30 minutes, um, and it, it'll dry and kind of be translucent more than the white that it goes on. And then you just, with it a not warm wash cloth, do a circular motion to have it taken off. It is not. It went on My green face and dried to white. amazing this morning. Um, the smell is okay. It's not terrible, but it's not like, oh my God, this smells so good. But it just, it kind of smells like clay. So that's one thing that I, I don't know if I'm a fan of, but... It hey, also burnt it my husband's my really eyes right down here when he wore okay. it. So number two that I did use was the mascara that I got in here. Oh, this is actually, this is one of my favorite mascaras mascara. for a really long time. And it's by Doce. D-O-U-C-C-E. I don't know how to pronounce still it. Still queen of can't pronounce shit. Because <laughs> I still struggle. So I did use this, and... Oh my god, I missed that mascara. mascara. It was just so you, good. All, look how cute this packaging it's is. It's not okay? cute. It is like, just... It's, it's super adorable, and I absolutely love it. Like, if you look you at know, makeup... Hold on, pause. If you look at makeup now... And then that package is like, oh, is that cute, Jamie? Because it's a red lid and a black bottle. Like, there was nothing cute about it. But I will tell you, if this mascara still exists, you need to go get it. Because it was freaking amazing. And I think I'm now going to go buy some. Also, let's take into account this video is only eight minutes long. I don't think I could get a short video like that now, even if I wanted to. Why? Because then I was so afraid to show myself and be myself. So I kind of was like, oh, well, I'll just make it really short and like no one will notice me kind of thing but now I'm just like I have fun and it's like I hope you do notice me and my weird self scares and you're like oh you know so cute I absolutely love the packaging I hate of my masters. eyeliner I literally so have eyeliner like quick. from here to here Mom, underneath look how big that is <laughs> it's such a big brush and it gives you so much volume you're like I gave it gave my lashes so First of all, really Jamie, no one needs to see all up in your eyeball. Really like, but I did use it. I also I didn't did wear like lashes really, back then really, either. Really like this. Um, and this one is. I'm still loving $24. my hair. This is also a full size. Twenty four dollars. So you're paying twenty one dollars for sixty four dollars and twenty four dollars so far. Okay, so that's eighty four, eighty eight dollars so far. You've already more. You know I did that math before I did this video because I am not that items. quick with numbers. Number three, we have the Bella Pierre Cosmetics lip stain, lip and cheek stain. This actually was crap, and I ended up throwing it away. Um, I mean it's a it's a pretty color. Don't mind all my other swatches, but 
You can like hear that I kind of like hard, didn't I like it, but I didn't want to be like that negative. Scenes, that was another like thing. Like when I started YouTube, like, like I would say cheek. that I didn't like so, things, but I wasn't like I didn't like attack them. Or like now I'm just like I don't really care. This is shit. This is shit. Full size for nineteen ninety nine. And I don't know why Bella Pierre was it's so expensive because now it's like cheap as shit. Line slash shade. Sorry, I had that upside down. I'm worried about having it upside down and it's a pencil, backwards. I have used this one. I love um, this one. I don't liner, usually too. use pencils, but I just wanted to see what it was about. I think I just and got I rid of this it. liner. Like <laughs> Sorry, I got ago. really excited because, like I said, Cringy. I don't really use pencil eyeliners because it's so hard to really get it in there but if you just watch this like look That's i've already swatched said. it before i love how, how i that stare goes at my on hand. so smooth and so easily i absolutely love it i love it love it love it love it love it and this is i still love like full size my love $18. for makeup look how excited i got $18 eyeliner mm. Not really gonna pay for it, but I got it in my boxy charm, so I'm gonna use it. I may buy it if I really. I just like remember, like back when so, I started to really, like really want to do everything got, makeup, really and it was it was awesome. I'm gonna use it today. Is Colt Cos Cosmetics. I actually still have this nail polish. Nail polish in the color Boneyards. Seen that. Just in case you, uh, Probably not. My camera on that. I love how it I called it the like, camera too. Like it was a fun. It's definitely a fun. Um, and it's. I mean, it's really thick, so I just feel like... Ignore see. that. I don't know what they're oh, doing yeah. out there. I mean, it doesn't take much to put it on. It's nail polish. I baby. just did a little there for you to see the color. like Over hair, another nail polish, by the way. So. And it's, like, it's, it's a nice gray. I like grays and browns and just light natural pinks. And this that is, is actually dollars. not even true it anymore. Like, I size. love bright colors, to apply crazy one to colors. Layers and allows but when I first got to make up, man, neutrals. There the was a love of my thing life. Like a big new thing. I'm not a big fan of oh, matte yeah, nails. Oh, yeah, Like, that was a big thing. You could do matte over it. And you know what? Um, I actually got into matte so nails. So, out of all the five products I got, my box was probably retail price for about $148. So I definitely did the math before I did this video because I like how I was like, my box was probably about like an exact number. <laughs> like, oh God, man. I paid $21 for this box. That is amazing. $21 and I got five full service products. That it's really good for me because I have a problem <laughs> with buying tons of makeup still every day, true. once a month, twice a month, three times a month, and still to be very able true. to get Actually, that very makeup worse. for such a great price, you know, and to try it and let you guys know whether it's good or not, um, each product, but why do that? Like, why go there when you can sign up for Birch Box? Um, mm, oh my god. <laughs> boxy Charm. It's not and even the right $20. box, and then I'm just like, instead of editing, I beeped it out. Like you couldn't hear. <laughs> okay. You don't want a subscription box, girl. Go ahead, right on one of them websites oh and purchase that stuff. Cause this stuff, I mean, I absolutely, I really love it. Um, I'll let you know how the cheek stain is. But if you have any questions, comments, just put them down also, below. Also, about my makeup, um, I can do like a, um how I did my makeup then versus now. If you guys wanted me to do that, go ahead and comment below. Or like how I used to do my makeup, do a full face of how I used to do my makeup. You can just comment and leave me below and you know I'll get it out for you. But let me tell you what my makeup consisted of, okay? Eyeshadow. And this was all drugstore up until, I wanna say a couple months after this video is when I really started going crazy with higher end, like Sephora, Ulta. Um, Ulta had just recently opened near me, so that was a big deal. Um, but I literally wore eyeshadow and like not crazy eyeshadow, not in-depth eyeshadow, like this, this shit you see here, just like silver. Eyeliner, mascara, foundation, powder foundation, um, or like mousse. Like a dream mousse, I think is what it's called. And then a lipstick. And sometimes highlighter. But I didn't do any, like, bronzing, any blush. I was so afraid of blush for, like, a long time. But now it's, like, one of my, like, really, really cherished, like, makeup items. I love blush. I also have an Instagram and a Facebook page if you guys could. Oh, and a blog. 
Sorry, new to this, so I'm what just doing my first up? one. Um, and there goes so the hay. Just... I messed up, just so you know. In case you didn't hear me mess up, <laughs> if I didn't embarrass myself enough, I'm going to shoot a text across the screen so you know, and I know, that I fucked up. Also, that blog lasted all of, like, three months. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to do it all. I was trying to get big and famous. I wanted to be the new Jacqueline Hill. My God, now I'm like, God, Jesus, I wouldn't pay money to be that lady. Check the links down below. I put my blog, my Facebook, and my Instagram down there. And just check them out and tell me what you think. If you, if there's any I product that you so want me fake. to go get and review, or if you have any questions on a product, just leave a comment and I will do so. Thanks, guys. Until next time. Mm -hmm. Cute. I wish I still did that. So I definitely, uh, it actually has 111 views. So I'm proud of that video. I'm proud of every one of those views. Um, it has definitely, when I scroll through these, it's definitely been a learning experience for me. Um, a lot of things have changed. I've definitely grown. Uh, when I think about YouTube now and like my goals or what I want to do with it and like makeup everything is so different one because back then like it was just starting to be like super freaking big and people like in my life or around me uh, maybe it was big before and I just didn't know it because I loved makeup but I really wasn't like into like YouTube makeup and stuff like that until around that time and I was like you know what I'm jumping in I'm doing it and like, I went feet first man right into that vid right into like the whole beauty guru whatever um and I think that's why I kind of failed because I didn't really take the time to figure out what it meant to be a creator on YouTube and I didn't figure out like the details of it I didn't research I kind of would just like record whatever and throw it up whatever but I also feel like I wanted to be like so many other YouTubers that it kind of hindered me where I was like, I'm not like this person. And instead of being like, you know what? I'm not like this person. Back then I was like, I'm not like this person. I'm giving up. And I did, I did give up. And you know, for the longest time I regretted it and I regretted it. And like my husband, it was December of last year. He's so supportive when it comes to this. And I was just like, man, you know, I love my Instagram, but I just really wish I would have stuck to YouTube. I love YouTube. I would have been so great at YouTube. Like, it just would have been so great had I just been me and, like, done the work. You know what I mean? Done the work. Like, not just popped up some half-ass video. And he's like, why not do it now? And at first, like, I was kind of scared because I was like, no, there's too many people. Like, there's way too many people out there flooding YouTube right now. I'll never make it. And then I started to think no, you know what? I, I don't have to make it. Like, that's the problem. The problem isn't, like, that I won't have, I guess, a large following. Who cares? Like, that's not the point of all this. I'm good at this. I have fun at this. I enjoy all of this. So I kind of just took that, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to make a plan, and I'm going to do it. And there are times where I still, to this day, will get discouraged. Um, of course, like we all, when following our dreams, if it doesn't go where we want it to as fast as we want it to, you tend to get discouraged. But what I won't do is I won't give up on it. Not like I did before, because I really feel like this is just my thing. Like whether I have the 800 that I have now or a million down the road. It doesn't matter, like this is me, this is my thing, and now I just find so much more fun in it because it's me, it's who I am, you know what I mean? It's not me trying to be like this perfect, I have a perfect life with all this makeup, and no, it's like who cares? Makeup's cool, but here I am on camera, I've been on camera several times without makeup, and back then you would not have caught me on camera without makeup unless it was to apply more makeup or to sit down and have a chit chat. I wouldn't have done that because then I would have had to like communicate and that was not my thing because I was nervous and I was scared and I think I was more just discouraged um, or my self-esteem was low, I guess if that makes sense because I tried to compare myself with all these other people and YouTubers that I had to stop and realize like three years later, like who cares about that, man? You're you, I'm different. Obviously, you guys want to see different people. You don't want to see a million of the same kind of people with the same personality. 
because then it would be boring and YouTube would fail. So I think it's really awesome and I'm so proud of myself. I know that sound, kind of sounds vain, but like I'm so proud of myself and how far I've come in the three years of doing the difference in YouTube. You know what I mean? So I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was fun. I know my video wasn't super crazy, but it's kind of cringy for me to share it with you guys. But if you liked it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And I want to say a big thank you because we have reached 800 subscribers, 800 busy bees on my channel, and I'm super freaking excited about it. So I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but to me, it means a freaking ton. So share, 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 and subscribe if you're not already subscribed so we can get some more peeps on here. And then I will see you on the next one. Bye, guys.